Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, we're gonna be heading to Primavera Sound Festival in Barcelona. So as we venture into the festival season, I'm going to be partnering with Braun to experience the energy and sound of the festival to kickstart my summer with good vibes and good people. <laughs> What's up guys? So we've arrived here in Barcelona. Yesterday we travelled in from London Heathrow and unfortunately we had a delay on our flight which meant that we didn't get into Barcelona until quite late. So AR and I, we just went and got some food locally. We actually went to quite a cool Mexican restaurant which was just around the corner from us. And yeah, we just got some good sleep. Had a little bit of a lay in this morning. It's been a really nice easy start to the day. But I'm very excited today because the festival starts and I'm looking forward to making some good memories. But before we do that, I thought I'd quickly show you my room. So when you walk into the bedroom, this is the bathroom area and inside we have a shower cubicle and then a toilet out the back. And then walking through into the bedroom, I've got a couple of beds, you know, always need a couple of beds. And then spin around over here is my wardrobe section. Here's my coffee station section, which is the most important station in any hotel room. And then this is my workstation, which I guess is also quite important as well because I'm gonna be getting my stuff done. And then if I flip around to my balcony, take a look outside. We've got these gorgeous balconies that look down over onto the street. Looks like there's been a little bit of work going on today. Very Barcelona. What a beautiful day as well. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, that's our little room tour. But as I mentioned, today we're gonna to be heading to a festival. We're gonna be heading to Primavera Sound here in Barcelona. I just love festivals because I can just take so much inspiration from the fashion elements that are incorporated in festivals. I love experimenting with new styles and new trends. I just think it's a really nice opportunity to just basically play with style and fashion. So I thought today we're gonna to go through some style choices and take a look at what I'm gonna be wearing at the festival today. For me personally, I'd say that fashion and style really starts in the bathroom. It starts with grooming, it starts with making sure that your foundation looks right and then you can move on to your fashion and your attire following on from that. And then as a whole, that will build up your overall look. So we're gonna run through my grooming routine and how I get ready ahead of a festival. So let's do this. Today I'm using the Braun Series 3 Pro Skin Trimmer. Braun offer a large range of different shavers that I find fast and easy to use. Although grooming is a fundamental part of my style routine, it's important to me that I spend the time doing what really matters with the people that matter. So with that in mind, I keep my routine simple. I start by grabbing a 3mm head attachment and glide the trimmer over the beard leaving a balanced hair length. I then switch out the 3mm head for a 2mm head to create a soft fade from the base of my neckline into my chin. This is a little hack that I've been using recently to help my beard look fresher for longer. After I've achieved my desired length, I take the 3 flex head and microcomb attachment to tidy up my neckline. The head tracks the contours of my neck leaving me with a smooth comfortable shave. Finally, to shape up this classic look, I use the precision trimmer on the back of the tool to create a clean finish. The Series 3 Pro Skin has washable heads and blades and can be used for both wet or dry shaves, meaning that they have all of us guys covered. So 
So that's my grooming routine complete. If you haven't checked out the Braun grooming tools yet, I cannot recommend them enough. In fact, I'll leave a link in my description box to the Braun Series 3 Pro Skin Trimmer, which was the device that I was just using. But today I went for a very classic stubble look. I just feel like it sits very much in line with my personal style. And talking of personal style, actually, I'm gonna get ready now because it's nearly time to hit the festival. And I'm gonna share with you my style choices for today. And then I'm gonna go downstairs and grab AR and then we'll hit the road. So this is my wardrobe and as you can see, I've brought many style choices and that's because I never really know what I'm feeling or what I'm vibing and also what the weather's like. So I kind of bring some classic basic white tees, I've got a cream tee, uh, this is a shirt if I was feeling a little bit smarter and then I've got these jackets which I absolutely love which will work really nicely as we come into the evening. But I think for today I'm going to use one of these kind of like printed t-shirts in black. I brought them in a oversize so the fit's really loose and really comfortable and then I'll probably wear the black boots with some black jeans and then I'm probably going to chuck on some jewellery and just keep it like really relaxed, festival vibes, probably take the denim jacket as well with me today. Other alternatives I guess would probably be a pair of sneakers with a pair of chinos, white t-shirt, maybe a bandana or something, just really cash but I think I'm gonna go with the darker outfit choice, even though it is absolutely beautiful outside today. I'm feeling like the darker choice is gonna be the one, the one. So let's get that on and then let's head out. Just before we head out, I thought I'd quickly share with you what I've decided to wear for the festival today. And uh, I've kind of gone a little bit rocky with my outfit, lots of denims, a very black outfit. But I've gone for some leather boots, which are laced, and then some really nice distressed denim jeans. And then I've gone for a blue, which is the only colour in my outfit, denim jacket. And then I've got a pendant necklace, and then a printed black t-shirt underneath. And then I've just accessorised with some jewellery just to finish off the look. I'm also going to be taking with me um, a cap just in case it gets a little bit sunny. I need to stick one of those on to give me a little bit of a break. Um, and then I also have a pair of sunglasses that you'll see when we're out and about that I've just packed in my bag. I'm going to be taking the bag over there as well with us uh, just to chuck some warmer clothes in for AR and also our camera equipment. So yeah, this is my look for the festival. I think we've just said that just before we head out, we're just going to go and grab a drink at the hotel uh, and some food, make sure we're fully fueled for the evening, and then we're going to head over to Primavera Sound. I think today we're going to be listening to some artists perform on the SEAT stage. I think we have Nas playing and Future, so I'm really looking forward to those guys perform. Uh, it's going to be a really fun afternoon. AR and I decided to stop off for a little bit of food. We found this very kind of Spanish styled restaurant. Such a vibe in here. Got the traditional tiles behind me, a little bit of brickwork up above. It's all going on in here. Look above you, Ali. There's barrels of uh, wine, I think. Yeah, so right above my head is barrels of wine. It's like this, mate. <laughs> Go on, get that dribbling down your arm. <laughs> AL's gone for the paella, the vegetable version. Smoky. That looks lovely, mate. Yeah. Right, so AR and I have just jumped into the back of the cab. We just finished off having a little bit of food. We feel a lot better. Oh, yeah, we had a little stool out here. Oh, aye. Aye, aye. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, we're good. We didn't just get it Hopefully, the DJ doesn't do that tonight. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's, oh, it's like e Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's moment, it's like dual. She's playing it on the floor. You know what they say about trading with Blake's his tools. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're just about to go to the festival now, and um, yeah, we're gonna get stuck in. AR and I were just talking about who we're most looking forward to seeing tonight. I'm thinking maybe Charlie XCX. I'm AR. thinking future. You thinking future? Future slash Miley Cyrus, you know? Miley Cyrus out here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely future. <laughs> so we've arrived here at Primavera Sound with Ron and the festival is kicking off. We've just had the most insane sunset. We're just going from one stage to another. We're going to check out the festival a little bit more and see what's going on. Some customised t-shirts being made down here. 
Nice. The guy's got skills. Wow, look at that. Christine and the Queens is currently on the stage. This place is packed. We just left Christine and the Queens and we're just about to head over now to watch Nars perform at another stage. There's so many stages here, it's crazy. Uh, I think we're gonna settle here for a little while now. Chill out, party. I don't wanna fall for you, oh no. But you make it so hard. Watching you dance all night, baby. It's making me fall hard. Trying to take a deep breath, but I just can't control my lungs. Ooh. Trying to hide my cold sweat, but I just keep on talking in tongues. It's a funny situation that I got myself into. I can help my own frustration. I think I like it. I think I like it. Got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. Cause I think I like it. Tell me if you like it too. What's up guys? So we are back at the hotel. We just got a lift back. We actually went by, what's the bike called? Um, a rickshaw. A rickshaw. We decided to go for a rickshaw because there was so many people trying to get cabs. We were like, no, we're not doing that. So yeah, we've um, come back to the hotel. What an amazing experience. The festival absolutely went off, but I'm holding up this lift, so I'm gonna go to my room and go to bed, and I'll speak to you guys in the morning. Good afternoon, yes, I know it's afternoon. We had a huge lay-in today, but last night we just had so much fun, we decided to stay as late as we could. Uh, we got back at around about 4, 4.30 a.m., and when we were in the lift, AR was like, do you wanna go for breakfast in the morning? I was just like, no, I do not. <laughs> um, so we basically just had a really long lay-in and uh, today has just been super chilled but last night was just so much fun we just explored some of the stages we were quite overwhelmed with how big it was i don't think we thought the festival was going to be as big as it actually was we just had such a good time today we're just going to chill out before we check out the hotel and fly back to the uk so i just wanted to quickly jump on here and say a massive thank you to braun for sending us out here for this experience uh, we had such a great time and it's so true like when you're getting ready for a festival, it's so important to consider your hairstyle, your beard style, as well as your fashion attire. And using the Braun grooming kits just make that process so much more easier, so much more fluid, so you can really focus on the moments that matter, like the festival, and really cherish those moments. And just don't worry about all of the other stuff. You don't need to worry about how you look, you've done that, you nailed it, and you're looking fresh, and you just go out there and have a good time, and that's exactly what we did. So I just thought I'd quickly jump on and say thank you to them guys. Thank you for you guys for what, thank you to you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you're thinking about visiting a festival this season, make sure you check out the Braun grooming kits. I'll leave those in the description box below. The Braun Series 3 Pro Skin device was the one that I was using, so I'll make sure that that's definitely linked. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd quickly come on, sign off, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Peace.